Well, again, this is uh, a questing scripting example here. Uh, we've got Carlo and Timon. Uh, now, Carlo's purpose in life is to uh, walk from here to the top of a hill when the quest is completed. Now, Timon gives the quest. It's an area quest. All I have to do is just click on him, and I can hire him. He's a follower. Um, and he, when he comes along, when, when he's within so many squares of me, he will... I didn't hire him quite there. There we go. Uh, and the quest is completed. He will die, and he will erase the quest. So there's the uh, what I need to find, you know, and he's going to die, and he told me not to go. Um, and since the quest had, was erased... Um, it can I can start it over again here, but Carlo, as soon as it was completed, he moved uh, because I had clicked on him before I left. Now, if I hadn't clicked on him, he would have not moved. Now let's try this again. Okay. Now then, I'm not going to click on him this time. Let's. Uh, Let's get the quest from Timon. And I don't have any wolf, so I'm not going to hire him. We'll go over here, complete the quest. And now if I get within three blocks of Timon, he's going to die. But I haven't clicked on Carlo, so he doesn't know about the quest yet. If I click on him, he'll know about it, and it'll take him a second to realize that he has a purpose in life. Um, it won't you call it? There you go. Okay. And he's going to go over there to the top of the hill, and then poof. So much for timing. So there's a little scripting example of, of different ways to interact in with NPCs. You enjoyed it. And that's all Carlo and I have for you, I think. If you have uh, some input on this, maybe a better way of doing it.